It's two animals and a body part. It's Dogfish Head, 60 minute IPA. Let's check this one out. Hey everybody, welcome back to The Beer's Gone Bad. Where the beer flows like wine. wine. We are your hosts, I'm Scott Van Book. And I'm Mr. Patrick Tugent. And tonight, we are drinking Dogfish Head. In fact, what are we drinking from Dogfish Head? Dogfish Head. 60 minute IPA, guys. 60 minutes. That's not one hour and a half, that's 60 minutes. They have a 90 minute, they have a 120 minute. But tonight, we're doing the 60. 60, boom. Cracking these beers open with a shotgunning tool, which is available at tailgatingideas.com. Shop.tailgatingideas.com. Shop. 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 Go ahead and enter the beer's gone bad at check out and get 10% off your order. Like that plug? Dogfish Head, for anybody who's seen the movie Beer Wars, was the brewery that was the antithesis of the big three. He was the guy that was fighting the good fight. The guy that had made it bigger. He was like the stone of the East Coast. I, I think I, I believe they're in Delaware. I'm not 100% sure. But great movie, by the way, if you guys have never seen that. Check that out. Um, I tried this two days ago for the first time and absolutely loved it. Uh, we're going to do 90 Minute here this week also, and I tried that one too, and that one's awesome too. Now, we read online that this is what they call a session IPA. A session beer. Session. Term of the night. Term of the night is session. What that basically means is you can have multiple beers in one session. It's not so heavy and so over the top that you drink one and you're like, wow, I'm full, or, or wow, I'm hammered. You're like, wow, I can drink. All the alcohol will between 4.5%. So this guy's coming in at 6 point, uh, I think 6.0 ABV. IBU of 60, so it's right on the middle level of hoppiness. Again, IBU's drink. The International Bittering Unit. There you go. The higher the number, the more intense the, uh, the hop flavor and the intensity of the beer. Perfect. This guy is going to come in one Bud Light, 10 Rasputin. At a about two, two for half. me. I was gonna say two and a half. Yeah. yeah. So it's got a nice, really like a really nice golden color, really minimal kind of head. What are we looking at for a six pack of this bad boy? Um, the six pack for this one, I believe, was about nine dollars. Nine bones. Come on, guys, we can do that one. Yeah, it wasn't. Bad. It wasn't bad. Um, I, you know, I, I've never had dogfish before. I've heard really good things about them. I believe this is on the, the Beer Advocate's top one hundred beers. Uh, the sixty. It may be the ninety, but I think oh, it's the on. sixty. All right. Um, yeah, so minimal head on this thing. I think it just got the way it was poured. What? No, I'm just saying it just was the way that it... Because I had a bigger head last time I poured it. Did you? You had a bigger head? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Because oh, I have a small head, I get oh, it. I wear size extra small hats. Whatever. Youth, medium, youth, small. Shut up, dude. So what do we got here, Pat? Let's get into this. Like, when you smell this beer from the beginning... You get that really like residual, not residual, but you get that really upfront kind of hop flavor that you would expect from, you know, an IPA really. That's a good beer. This is the IPA session beer for beer enthusiasts. So Pat, explain to us what 60 minutes is. What happens in that 60 minutes? It's named 60 minutes because throughout the boil, they boil the beer for 60 minutes and every minute they continually add hops on the minute. So this beer is continually hopped throughout the, the brewing process so it gives it that really hoppy flavor and aromas. Um, that you'd expect an IPA. This is just a really nice IPA. It's a really drinkable IPA too. Um, we had the uh, Wipeout IPA by Port Brewing and that was a really drinkable IPA. And it's just one of those things, like if you like the flavor but maybe you're not in the mood for something that's gonna be so heavy and high in alcohol content or really, really hoppy, then boom, here you go. You got your uh, when you drink hot it, flavor. When you drink it, I'm getting like right, right in the beginning, you get that really hot flavor to it. Like really hot flavor. And then as you swallow it, it kind of goes away. It's a very, like, it's very up front hoppy and then kind of, like, mellow on the back end. Yeah, it doesn't have, like, a really strong finish or a really crazy finish or anything like that. I, uh, after drinking the 90, I'm actually a bigger fan of the 90 than the 60. This is a really good beer, but I feel that the 90 is a more balanced beer. It just comes across better. I like the fact that they actually have something they call session beers. Because it makes tons of sense. We've been saying it since the beginning of the show. Like, this is one of those beers that you can go out at a bar. I would order this at a bar all night long. You know, it's not something that you're like, whoa, I'm you know, only going to have one really heavy stone, you know, IPA or levitation. No, completely. This is just that, like, another IPA, another, a pitcher of IPA is perfect. This is right up your alley, huh? Dude, this is a Scotland book beer. Do you taste grapefruit in there at all? I know we had the, the mm. Islander IPA, and that thing was grapefruit out of his brain, but this thing actually, this thing's actually pretty good. I, you know, the hop flavor, if you're a hop enthusiast, this is a great beer to use in lieu of another session beer, i.e. Bud Light, i.e. 
Budweiser, freaking insert any macro brew version of this. This is just a hoppy, better version for something to get you going. It's, it's not what you would normally think of when you think of an IPA, just to give that one out there. If you bought this, if you saw this sitting on a shelf and you're like, oh, they continually hop but why, any pale ale, it's not as heavy. And it's not as overwhelming with the hoppy. It doesn't have that crazy, crazy aroma. It doesn't have that really strong finish. It doesn't have a super bitter taste. It has more of like a well-rounded, drinkable... It's, it's, it's relatively good. smooth. This yeah. is a really good beer. So, and that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying anything bad about it. I'm just saying if it's one of those things where you like those really hoppy, like, wow, and you see Go this grab thing. a Stone Ruination. Go grab, yeah. you know, an Islander Double IPA. It's just kind of good to know what you're getting into with this. 88 IPA, sorry. It's not that crazy beer. And I like that. Well, you it's good, need, though. Yeah, you need a beer with flavor that you can drink all night long. I think as a starter beer, that a starter dogfish head beer for us, this was a great way to start You know for what us. this beer is making me think of? What? Epic. It's stronger than Epic, though. It's stronger than Epic. It's hoppier. It's than got Epic. a better ver- It's got a better taste. But this isn't Indian. Easy. That was just a pale ale. I know. Well, it's just kind of. It's just kind of like getting to that same kind of category for me, where you where have you something gonna... that's you know a drinkable over and over again, but has some flavor. No, I do. I really like this beer a lot. I like where you uh, where are you gonna put this? One, nothing, ten. Oh, this one's awesome. awesome. I mean, this is an eight. Yeah, I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put this one about an eight. Also, this is a great beer. This is a great pale ale to drink. It's smooth. You could drink. I, the other night, ran through four of these without even thinking about it. Which is easy. It was easy. I was sitting watching TV and all four of them disappeared real quick. <laughs> that was a good night. Man. But yeah, so. Well, shotgun ability too. I mean, it's, it's probably like a six. Yeah. Well, guys, go out and try some 60 minute. We're going to get into the 90 here in a little bit and we'll, uh, we'll get back to you. Guys, check in with us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Flickr, all those things. Um, yeah, check out the Flickr account. We have some cool pictures from when we're out about drinking craft beers throughout San Diego and all of the fun places that we can do. Hell yeah. Yeah. Word. So, thanks for checking in, and until next time, we're the craft beer guys, so if it's not craft, I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, keep it yourself. Peace out. <laughs>